All new tonight at five. While you were checking out the deals at Nordstrom's anniversary sale this weekend, Scottsdale police say a guy could have been checking you out under your skirt. As ABC 15's Chris Groh explains, he's not the first accused creep to strike this year. Robert Fernando Hurtado. Dominic Rios, Gordon Harold, These three men have something in common. It's not just their appearances before a Valley judge this year, but what sick crimes the trio are alleged to have carried out. Voyeurism, which is a class four felony. Three allegations of voyeurism as class five felonies. Two counts of voyeurism, those are class five felonies. We're told Robert Hurtado was the latest to strike, hitting the Nordstrom at Scottsdale Fashion Square this past Saturday during the height of the store's annual sale. The place was packed. According to court documents, security guards caught Hurtado shooting video up women's skirts with his cell phone. When police looked at what was on his phone, they found at least 10 videos of different women and not just women shopping at Nordstrom, but also at a Walmart in Mesa. Unlawful uh, videotaping or recording a person, class 5 felony. Vincent Rios is also accused of spying on women in the valley, including a bathroom in a PetSmart where he spied on this woman. I now see a pair of brown sunglasses facing under my stall, missing a lens, and the other lens was super reflective, like a mirrored. As for Gordon Nobriga, he's an American Airlines flight attendant, accused of videotaping men and boys in public restrooms at different stores. Nobriga was arrested on May 25th at Sky Harbor and is facing 11 counts of voyeurism. In Phoenix, Chris Grow. ABC 15 Arizona. We reached out to each of the stores named in these cases. Both Scottsdale Fashion Square and Nordstrom did not comment today. PetSmart is, uh, told us that they are working with Phoenix Police and American Airlines told us in June that um, uh, Nobriga is still an American Airlines flight attendant and that the matter is in the hands of Homeland Security. We've got some breaking